what's up guys, I'm Tommy and welcome to Tommy Tech Outdoors. Today I'm gonna to show you a mod to the Hobie cart so you don't have to flip your kayak to put it on. So stay tuned. So on this channel, I do a lot of how-tos, reviews, and share my experiences fishing, crabbing, kayaking, boating, and just spending quality time with family and friends outdoors. So if those interest you, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button below and click that notification bell so you know when I upload new content. All right, guys, so if you've been following my channel, you'd know that I have owned quite a few Pobies. I started out with the 2016 Outback, the 2019, and now the uh, 2020 Hobie Pro Angler 360. I did use the Hobie cart for my uh, 2016 Outback, and as you can see, I actually did try to use one of the methods um, that I'm gonna show you to allow you to put the cart on without flipping it over. It's that bungee method that you put the bungee on it, um, but it didn't, uh, last long enough because the bungee that I used was actually um, not strong enough. I actually uh, did some research and tried to find you know the best way to do it. The way I'm going to show you now is different from the way I did it before. So the previous way I did it um, I had the bungee that wasn't uh, strong enough because it actually wore out so I actually bought some uh, thicker bungee right here so this is actually one of the key components uh, you're going to need. For it. Um, and I'll provide a link in the description below to everything I use. So um, check that out and they'll, they'll actually be affiliate links. So those will actually help support my channel and be uh, greatly appreciated if you use those. The other thing you're gonna need is um, this little loop here. Um, Hobie actually sells it right here. Um, I actually bought a second one to put on this side. I mean, you can see that little pin piece that you used for the card that actually broke off. Um, so I'm gonna actually pop this off and then put one of these other loops on that side. And then you're gonna need a couple of hooks as well. Um, I bought these hooks here. I'll show you right here. So these hooks are the ones that I bought. Um, I have a link in the description below to these um, and then the bungee, which I just showed you already. Uh, so I'm actually going to go ahead and take this piece off and then get the loop on. I'm just going to probably use, I don't know, a screwdriver just to pry that piece off. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that now. Hey guys, I'm just going to show you real quick. This side's actually kind of a pain to get out. What I actually had to do, I'll show you, get up close here is uh, right here, you can see the piece right there. I actually had to take a uh, Phillips, or not a Phillips, flathead screwdriver, and then I had to um, take a mallet to kind of work it on one side and then go to the other side. Now that it's up, I should be able to take a screwdriver and just put it down the middle and pop it off. So let's go ahead and try that real quick. Let's see, I should be able to just pop it. Just kind of work it on each side, I think. Yeah, it's coming now. There it goes. That's off. So just be aware of that. Just take a flathead like this and just kind of pound it on that one side, then the other side, get it up. And then you could just take the screwdriver in the middle and then get it up that way. All right, so now that that's off, I can take the little loop and then I'm gonna slide it in here I think last time I did it I had to actually shave off some of these threads so um, probably end up doing that so let me work on that and then I'll tell you guys how I actually got it on there there you guys actually the easiest way to get this on was to uh, just kind of place it on and I just took a rubber mallet started pounding it on and uh, actually it went on just fine you just got to make sure you got the loop kind of the way you want it oriented. So I wanted it, the loop actually facing towards the outside of the, uh, the cart. So let's go ahead and uh, take this outside and then we'll start working on the, uh, the hooks on the bungee. All right guys, so to put this hook onto the, the bungee, all I'm gonna do is, uh, you can see there's a little, little loop there. I'm just gonna take the bungee then I'm just gonna feed it through the loop. 
And then to make things uh, much simpler, I'm just gonna take it like this and I just get enough bungee so that I can make an overhand knot. Then I'm just gonna make an overhand knot and then cinch it up. So you can see right here. It is just a simple overhand knot. And I'm just gonna make sure I cinch it up right next to the, the loop. So there's not like a big loop in there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. What I'll probably end up doing is cutting this tag end here. And then maybe doing put some duct tape or some gorilla tape actually over it just so that this piece doesn't come through, but I'll test it without it, just so I can uh, see if I got the right length. Um, so let's um, test that now, and I'll show you how the rest of the other loops are um, set up as well. All right, guys, so I wanted to give you a closer look of what everything looks like. So I have a hook on one end of the bungee. Um, here's actually the whole thing. You can kind of see it here. So I've got a hook one end, and then in the middle, you can see here, I've got the other hook. I just tied a knot on here because what I noticed is that uh, when I put the one hook in, what will sometimes happen is this hook will actually slide down and then sometimes it'll actually get in the hole and slide in it. So I put a knot here just so it stops sliding. And then on the other side, have another hook right here. So one just goes right into the scupper. The other one goes into the other scupper. You hook them to the, the legs of the cart and then uh, you take the middle piece and then that's the one that I pull back. And then I can, uh, once it's attached to the back and you gotta make sure you get the correct tension because if you don't have enough, it's not gonna pull the cart in. But once you lift up, it goes right in. So um, let's go ahead and get to that footage so you can see that. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put my cart down just kind of next to my uh, kayak. As you can see here, I have the front of the cart right here. It's uh, lined up with a scupper hole there. And then what I'm gonna do is put the first um, hook through the scupper and then I'm gonna lift it and then put it on top of the wheels here. All right, so I've got right here, this is the first hook. It's gonna go through. Then I'm just gonna lift my kayak just over the wheels. So now my kayak is fully supported by the uh, cart wheels. And then from here, what I can do is uh, reach underneath. Um, you kind of have to feel it with your fingers, um, or your hands. So I've got the first hook here. And I'm just gonna feel for the wheel. So here's the wheel. And then I can feel right here, there's the, the first loop on my scupper. So I'm just gonna clip it right on. And that's why it's important to make sure you have the holes facing outwards. And I'm gonna go on the other side. I'm just gonna feed, remember this is the middle one, so that just stays out. I'm gonna feed the second one here, just right into the hole. And again, I still have it attached to the hole line just because I'm not sure if I have fully adjusted. Hey, how you doing? Good, thanks. How are you? Good, thanks. And then from here, you can kind of feel on your cart where the other leg is. And then again, I can feel the hook there and I'm just gonna clip, hook right on. And then from here, now I've got the hook and I can actually attach it to somewhere in the back where I have enough attention. Um, I could put it right here. Um, I found it better to have more tension on it, so I actually hooked it to the back. Here, let me show you. 
Yeah, so I end up hooking it to the back over here. You can see over here I've got the assist to my um, my mount for my Bixby Jet. That's the uh, Yak Gadget mount. You can see it's got these little knobs here and it actually fits over the knob without the hook and it puts enough tension on it. So right here where it is, it actually isn't enough tension, but if I put it back here, there's actually enough tension there. All right, so now that I have everything hooked up, all I gotta do is lift up my kayak. And you can see if you have the right amount of tension on the bungee, it comes up nicely. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you a different angle of how I use the cart. Uh, just kind of a little wider angle so you guys can see how I actually position the kayak and then place the cart on it. Um, and then also I, I'm using it uh, with everything cut off so there's no extra line or anything. You can see how well it works. Um, so let's go ahead and get to that footage. All right guys, so right now you can see my kayak right now, it's kind of lined up um, straight. So what I'm gonna do is pick it up and then kind of make it offset kind of diagonal that way. Um, so then I'll put my tires or the cart next to it and then I'll be able to put it on so it's kind of a little bit diagonal. So what I'm gonna do now is take my cart and the top of it I'm gonna kind of align it right next to it. So right here is the top of it and then you can see the scupper holes are right over here. So now I kind of put it close to my cart so that it's when I straighten it out it's like right on top. There you go, so it's right on top. Um, and now you can put the hooks through. You could have actually done this beforehand as well. And it's gonna take the hook on the right. You can kind of feel where it is on the shaft, and then I'm gonna hook it to the front. So why it's important to make sure you have those hooks or the loops to the side. Then hook the other side here. Feel the shaft right here already. That one's in there. Then I just take the middle bungee, I feed it all the way back to this gear right here. And then all I got to do is lift and the cart is on and all I got to do is on do the bungee here you can just roll off with it of course if you want to take the cart off you got to get the hooks out here I'll show you that it rolls is fine. And then of course to take the cart off, all you gotta do is lift it up, let it drop, move it to the side, and your cart's good to go. All right guys, so that was the Hobie Cart Mod so you don't have to flip your kayak over to put it on. It's a very simple thing. You just gotta use bungee, some hooks, and you're good to go. And you gotta make sure you have the right amount of tension on the bungee as well, so you're gonna have to play with that a little bit. But um, yeah, that's it, and it's uh, pretty simple. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. gonna do is see like my kids right there and my wife